saying that what you really want to be able to do is get used to doing some type of tracking if you are on a consistent effort towards trying to lose weight, trying to improve your body composition, trying to build muscle. I mean, whatever your goal is to make yourself a healthier human being, you want to do some level of tracking. And I think there is a little bit of intimidation with tracking because like I've gotten some, you know, comments from my clients. Well, you know, to be completely honest, if I track it and I don't get results, I'm going to be upset. I said, well, you know, all things aside, that's good. You know, if you're really trying to lose body fat or change your composition or just improve your health, if, if you're getting upset that you're not making those goals, that's a, basically telling you, hey, what you're doing isn't working, right? It's being honest with you. I'd rather have an honest approach to trying to lose weight than have a dishonest approach and not have accurate information. So sometimes you have to just deal with the fact that maybe you're not being as consistent as you think you are, right? You have to face the facts. Those four or five cookies you had four times last week might have put you over your calorie limit and you have to face the reality that you can't just do whatever you want all the time and, and lose weight or, or achieve certain goals. You have to make some sacrifices. So measuring in any format is important because it one keeps you mindful and it also keeps you on your, your, on your task, right? Just like a coach is going to keep you accountable um, to, to what you eat and how you move and how you sleep and you know, your stress. If you are, if you're not being accountable to something, you're just going to run wild. And um, I'm not saying that as a as a coach looking down on my clients, so to speak, or even the people that are listening to this podcast or watching this video. I'm saying that as a human being who's been through that. You know, I've had coaches in the past that had to give me some tough love and be like, "Dude, you're not doing what I instructed you to do." It's like it's just tough love, and it, you have to face that if you really want to see change.